Hi everybody. Here we're looking at a maturely grown English hawthorn tree. I want to show you the thorns. There's the thorn, the telltale thorns that grow on the English hawthorn uh, and on all hawthorns. And for the English hawthorn, of course, it's this very small leaf. It's about the length of two widths of my fingers. Um, it has the central veining. And you'll see in the back there that the other veins come out from the central vein. It also has those indentations at the ends of the leaf, which is also very characteristic of the English hawthorn leaf. You see that little, that little dent there? Look for that at the ends of the leaves, and then that's how you can find your English hawthorn. Um, you'll see that the berries are still quite green, so these will not have the seeds ready yet until they turn red. And right now it's um, third week of July, and this side of the tree doesn't get a lot of um, sun here, except for sunset, so it's not really... The, the berries are going to take a bit longer to mature. I also want to show you the characteristic spotting on the trunk, the speckling. It's still that grayish, almost silvery color with the gray, and that's typical of the hawthorn also. And there is an anomaly I want to show you about these thorns. This here growing up out of the branch is actually a thickened thorn. And that's, that's something you'll see on the mature hawthorn. It's also, like the literature says, a multi-trunked multi tree. So on, on the mature hawthorn, they're, they're thinner, skinnier trunks, and you'll see more than one growing together. Over here, you'll see another thorn coming up out of the branch. You'll also see thorns growing out of the trunks themselves, shorter here, and growing from alternate sides of the trunk. So there and there. So look for the thorns. Look for the coloring of the trunks. Especially look for these small leaves, these small, small leaves, uh, these characteristic leaves of the hawthorn. When you pick the leaves for the teas, um, try not to pick too many leaves. Here are some smaller leaves that are growing. Try not to pick too many because the leaves are how a tree or a plant makes its energy. And it is summer, and this tree is trying to make its energy to survive the winter. So pick what's still in good condition and not have eggs from flies in it or things like that. And, uh, and pick enough for yourself. We're supposed to offer them the Monday after the Feast of the Assumption to our Blessed Virgin Mother. And ask her to bless the leaves so that they will help us with the respiratory infections and with cholera which she told Marie Julie this leaf um, would also help. So the way we make the tea is you take about four of these leaves, you put them into the bottom of a, a cup, a mug, you'd pour hot water over top, you'd cover it, and then you'd let it sit there for 14 minutes. Um, we call that also steeping a tea, letting it sit and letting the leaves draw out their goodness into the water. Then, after the 14 minutes, you uncover it. You can remove the leaves if you like. You're only going to drink the water. So, there you go. I would also recommend that you pick the berries when they go red. So that after the three days of darkness, you can grow these trees. The seeds are in there. And then that way, you'll be ready to help others with respiratory infections, which are so common in the winter for most of us, um, and possibly cholera again. All right, everybody. God bless. Bye-bye.